I love to pray for horses and uh, dogs and cats. This is a horse that I prayed for who had um, a in serious intestinal obstruction that was going to get emergency surgery at midnight. What they would have had to do with the horse, it's like a human obstruction. They're going to cut the horse from the top all the way down to the bottom. This is a huge horse, a you know, big, tall horse. They were going to have to cut the horse from top to bottom. What the horse trainer told me is that with this kind of surgery, it takes months and months to heal. The horse often never gets ridden again, and they may not survive. Owner emailed me. It was 11 at night that I got home from a ministry event, and the horse emails me. I think the horse had a little bit of help from the owner <laughs> telling me it loved me and it wanted me to heal it. Pray for the horse on the spot. I didn't know what was wrong with it. They didn't tell me. They just said it's an emergency. So I'm praying for the horse top to bottom. I know the horses do get a lot of structural issues. So I'm praying for everything I can think of, the suspensory ligaments, praying for the back, I'm praying for the spine, I'm praying for the abdomen. The next morning I hear from the owner. She said, what time did you pray for the horse? So I told her and she said, right on the spot, the intestinal obstruction disappeared. And the vet is standing there waiting to cut the horse from top to bottom to take out the obstruction which God takes away. And the horse never had to have surgery. The horse is in great shape. And I love the picture. The owner took it and there's a rainbow over his head. Yeah. And he looks like he's smiling. 